more is better. Or perhaps less is more. Let's look at this deeply held assumption that more is better, longer is better, more complicated is better. And this applies to texts of all kinds, whether it's a report or a database or a PowerPoint or a book or a movie or whatever. There's the sense that if it's longer, then it must be better. And the strange thing is that there's a deep assumption of proportionality, that the input is equal to the output. You put 100 hours in and you get a great product. You put 10 hours in, you get a not so great product. You have a 100 page book, it's going to be better than a 50 page book. And you could see why somehow that makes sense, that the effort that you put into something is proportionate to the output. But as we saw in the paradigm shift from linear to complex, that is not always true. And probably in many cases, it's not true at all. Less is more, shorter is better, simpler is better. So how does this assumption that more is better affect our work? Take the example of hourly rates. You put an hour's work, you get this result. You put 10 hours, 100 hours, you get this result. Most of our business models, whether you're an accountant or a consultant, or if you work in any kind of product service, you will be paid by the hour. A product will be translated back into a number of hours or a number of days of work. And there is a deeply held assumption that the amount of time that you spend doing something is proportional to the quality of the output. But as we've seen, if less is better, if shorter is better, if simpler is better, then how does that work? Perhaps you could do something in far less time and the quality would be a lot better. And then how are you going to get paid? And so many people understand this problem that it doesn't make sense to have hourly rates for products. It doesn't matter how much time you spend doing it. It's the quality of the output that matters. But many people find it, most people find it impossible to change that paradigm of hourly or daily rates. So how would you escape that paradigm? How could you live in a paradigm where there is not necessarily more is better, but perhaps a paradigm of less is more?